Now, not everyone can credibly make the threat, but our speaker tonight is Larry Fink, the CEO of BlackRock, which is the largest financial asset manager in the world with six trillion dollars in assets under management. Now, I want that to really sink in. Six trillion dollars. That's considerably larger than the proposed federal budget the president just released today. It's more than the entire gross domestic product of Japan, which is the fourth largest economy in the world. Now, because of its size, BlackRock has been called the Amazon of Wall Street. We have some parts of the country that are very, very worried about how this transition will mean for their, their state, their locality, for their jobs. And so this is not gonna be an easy task, but I would say across the board, um, capital is moving and it's gonna move very rapidly. And I'm very proud that I could tell you right now, every hydrocarbon company in the United States is now focused on this. Whereas I would say three, four years ago, they weren't. They did not believe it. And so we are making change. And I would say we're making more rapid change because of Bill and other, other people who are expressing this openly. The bulk of emissions in the decades ahead will come from developing countries. Let's think of it in three tiers. The rich countries, that's Europe, US, Japan. The middle income countries, uh, that's where most of humanity lives. That's China on the high end high middle income in India on the low end, and you've got Brazil, Mexico, Indonesia, Vietnam, a lot of the world's population there. And then you have some very poor countries, uh, a lot in Africa. The responsibility to innovate uh, rests entirely on the rich countries, and particularly on the US, because the US has the universities, the national labs, it's got the ability to organize risk-oriented capital. So we will not solve climate change without the rich world driving down dramatically. That's what will make it economic for the, the middle-income countries who are not responsible for the historic emissions and who are dealing with more basic needs. Behaviors are going to have to change, and this is one thing we're going to, we're asking companies. Uh, you have to force behaviors, and at BlackRock, we are forcing behaviors. Behaviors are going to have to change, and this is one thing we're going to, we're asking companies. Uh, you have to force behaviors, and at BlackRock, we are forcing behaviors.